for you. Hi, fine. How are you doing? Oh, fine, thank you. You saw me one time at the Christmas party, you know, the light day. Well, I saw the article in the paper this morning about the young man, you know, trying to revive the park. And I said, I'm going down there and congratulate them, you know, at 1 o'clock. And I think... Mm -hmm. uh, it will, it will, and we need more of this. I'm Robinson, and I'm here today to support the new basketball court, uh, give uh, the children a chance to burn off energy and uh, network and get to know each other. Uh, I don't think there's any age group. Uh, the youngest child I've seen out here is about three, and the oldest one is in their late 20s, early 30s. But I think it's great uh, what's happening here. And uh, hopefully we can see many more of these types of activities throughout the city. Thank you. What brings you out today? I saw it in the paper. Oh, you did? Yeah, I had some pictures in school. Oh, you did? Yes. I had him. My husband had him. My daughter had him. My granddaughter's had him. <laughs> and I had him, too. It seems like Mr. Pritchard has been, been active in a lot of our lives. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I'm so proud of what's going on here yeah. today. Doesn't it make you feel good? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm sure they're going to get down to control real quick, right? Uh, you got bullets going on over there? Uh, oh. Uh, it's in school. Yeah. Oh, so let y'all just keep bullets in check. Hurry up, you I ignore them. You ignore them? You ignore the bullets? I don't blame you, man. So what about when the bullets come up and you're threatening you? How you handle that? Yeah, to do something. What do you do? You have to help defend yourself. Ideally, the physical confrontation doesn't resolve anything. But you know, you still walk away angry at the person and the person is angry at you. You don't resolve the bottom line is, you know how men go off and fight wars because they disagree? So, that's just a graduated step from what you're talking about with bullets. It's the same thing. It's the same exact thing. Bottom line, it never solves anything. You have to talk to resolve it. Say, say again, may I please have your name? Renee Young. Oh, how you doing, Renee? Uh, it's good to meet you, and thank you for letting me know that you check out in the upper room. Yes, I do. All right, now, I'm, we're here at the corner of Six and Pine, mm -hmm. and we're checking out these new basketball courts. What brings you out? Oh, well, I heard about it and saw it on the newspaper today. I didn't really know anything about it, but I work here at Band Call, so I'm coming here to support, hopefully, some of my kids here in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. It's a good cause, and I'm to get back. He's giving back to the community, these new basketball courts mm -hmm. that we did. Um, so, just coming here to see what's going on today. Oh, all right. <laughs> Thank you, and I'm glad we met. Thank you. All right. You know, and I, and I think, you know, behavior is something that is supported by social norms. If the social norm says, hey, I'm not going to support you cussing when you're around kids and what have you, then that norm has to be adjusted to. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You just can't do that. Yeah. Hey, hey, I wanted to come over and say a couple of things with uh, Brother Cooley, okay? Yeah, go ahead. All right. This is uh, Brother Cooley. Yeah, y'all read about him in the paper, and it, it was talking about his work in revitalizing his playground with these backboards. So, uh, Brother Cooley, I want to go on the record on behalf of In the Upper Room of saying thank you, man, for uh, the motivation that you had to do that. Yeah. Now, how do you feel about seeing this come true and, and, and come to fruition? Yeah, I mean, it feels good, but, like, I mean, I just been trying for last year and a half with the East Ray Hunt I did. Yeah, I've been mean, doing down Kirkland yeah, Street Park the last two years. Book bag drive I did at that time. Everything I can do to help you, I will. Toy drive I did. Wow. And a lot of band cross school. I can't get 800 toys. 250 kids. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, just, it would get to me in the city of Wilmington who doesn't, uh, actually does nothing for these kids. It's a shame. Yeah. The fact is, when I was down in D.C. back in April, find out that they give the city, the city of Wilmington alone. Right, right. They give the city of Wilmington alone two hundred thousand dollars community money that they both disperse into the community to do stuff for the kids and they don't use it. And when you ask them they had no clue where it's at. It's not crazy. People with the money don't want to do it. They just want to scam and take it themselves. 
do whatever. So, like I told them, I don't want to, I'm not there in Florida. I don't want their help at all. Y'all ain't been doing it, so I don't want to help. I heard that. Woo. All right, brother Cooley. I don't want to help with none of them. I don't. I'd rather keep going on with the way I've been doing it and making things happen for these kids than, than try to get involved. Because when they do get involved, they'll try to get all the credit and they tell you how to run.